Hi there guys and welcome to the second part of making your own chatbot in C Sharp. And in today's tutorial we're gonna continue on the program we made in the last part and we're gonna do some minor visual changes because if we run this program right now and we type in something like hello it's actually kinda hard to distinguish which line is a program line and which line is a user input. So we're gonna wanna make that a little bit easier to see and we'll do that by going up here to the start of the program where we write console.write line computer says hello and right underneath just write again console.write line but actually leave the parenthesis empty and basically what this is gonna do is create a new line right underneath this computer says hello line but it's not gonna put any anything into that line because we haven't given it a value so it's gonna look something like this where it says computer says hello followed by an empty line and then we get user so now we're just gonna wanna do the same thing for the user input as well as for the program respond output so just take this console.write line that we just wrote and copying, copy it and put it right underneath this input value is equal to so now we're gonna create, that creates a new line right underneath the user input and then paste it again right underneath this if else statement and that's gonna create a new line underneath the program respond output so now it looks a little bit better but it's still kinda hard to see when all the text is white so I'm actually gonna change the color of the program text while the user text should still be white so I'm gonna do that by again going up to the start of the program and this time above the console.write line computer says hello I'm gonna say console dot foreground color is equal to console color dot and you're gonna get a list here but I'm just gonna go with green but you can take whatever color you want and basically what this does is actually change the color of the text so if we run this program now all the text is going to be green but I just want the computer text to be green I don't want the use text to be green so right underneath here where the computer has said hello and we're done with the output we want to say console dot reset color and basically this is like saying well the console color should be set to default so any, te any text that follows this line is going to be white again but we don't want that, we want the uh, color of these uh, output values to actually be green so we're actually going to go down here to write above the console.write computer and again say console dot foreground color is equal to console color dot green but remember that once it has done all this it's gonna jump back up here again so we have to set it to being white again otherwise the next user input is gonna be green so we'll do that by going down here where we wrote the console.write line and just say again console.resetColor and now if we run the program the program output should be green it should be followed by, a white, by an empty line the user input should be white and then the response should be green and we have lines in between so now it's a little bit easier to see 
which text is an output and which text is an input. So that's actually it for today's tutorial. And as always, if you have any questions, you could feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.